Hello, fellow math contest lovers. We're going to continue our look at the 2002 Grade 9 Pascal competition put out by the fine folks at the University of Waterloo. We're on question 24 here, which says in the diagram, triangle A, or not triangle, ABC is a semicircle with diameter AC and center O and radius 1. So all these uh, things here coming out of O, they're radii. They're marked that, so that we know they're equal, and we're told the radius is 1. Also, OB is perpendicular to this diameter. Using AB, which isn't drawn in, but we'll draw it in on our picture, using AB as a diameter, a second semicircle, AEB, is drawn. The region inside this second semicircle that lies outside the original semicircle is shaded as shown. The area of this shaded region is, ooh, and we have some answers here, some involving some pies, some involving just regular old fractions, and some involving both. Okay, well, let's redraw our picture and construct this uh, semicircle AEB with that key diameter AB in there. Now, with all of these... Uh, find the area of the shaded region questions that pop up on, on these contests, the Waterloo contests, and other contests. I always find that there's a nice, easy pattern to doing them. Here we have B, and we have 1, 1, 1, O, C, A here. And where was I? Oh, yes, there's a nice, easy pattern to doing them. What you need to do is geometrically express the shaded region as a sum or a diff, like break it down into objects that you know. Either as a sum, just of say like a bunch of triangles, or maybe a whole pentagon, or no, a whole square removed with two triangles removed, that sort of thing. Okay? Now, I think the reason they didn't draw in A, B is because once I draw in uh, that... Uh, diameter there, I'm noticing that I have a semicircle and I have a triangle, a right angle triangle no less, and if I take their total area and I chop out this red quarter circle, I will just be left with the shaded region that I want. So with most of these questions what I'll do is I'll say shaded region the one that I want, the thing that I'm looking for, and I'll break it down into, uh, in this case, it'll be the area of this semicircle plus the area of triangle, so this is uh, AEB, and plus the area of AOB minus the quarter circle arc AOB. Right? The two blue ones subtract the, the reddish quarter circle. And these are objects I'm very familiar with. I know how to find formulas, uh, the formula for a quarter circle and a semicircle. I know how to do the area of a triangle. And just about every shaded region question I've ever seen is always done this way. Break it up into um, sums and differences of geometric uh, figures that you have the information for and have formulas for. Okay, so, um, well, the triangle is the one that we have the most information about, one, one, and uh, it's right angle. So I'm going to figure out the area of that. So area of triangle AOB, one half base times height, and we have a base of one and a height of one, and that's going to be one half, okay? Now, to figure out the area of AEB, that semicircle, well, we've got just a tiny bit of work to do. The only formula I know for the area of a semicircular arc is if I know the radius, well, the whole thing is half of a circle with that same radius. So that's a half pi r squared. So if I knew the radius for my semicircle, I'd be all set. 
Unfortunately, we weren't told the radius for the semicircle in this question. But the diameter of the semicircle, which is twice the radius, happens to be the hypotenuse of my right angle triangle. So the, by, by, the, uh, by the Pythagorean theorem, so by Pythagoras' theorem, I know that AB, which is my diameter, squared, is equal to AO squared plus OB squared, and both of these are radii. That's 1 squared plus 1 squared, that's 1 plus 1, that's 2. So AB is going to be the square root of 2. So the radius of uh, semicircle AEB is going to be my diameter divided by 2, which is root 2 over 2. And now I can plug it into this formula. So the area of my semicircle is 1 half pi r squared. What's r? It's root 2 over 2. So 1 half pi root 2 squared is just 2 over 2 squared, which is 4. And we're going to be left with 2 over 8 pi. And that's just 1 quarter pi. All right. So we figured out the two blue areas that we're adding together. We want to take off this, uh, this red quarter circle. Well, quarter circles, just like semicircles, we can figure out their uh, area. We just know the radius because it's a quarter of the circle with the same radius. And that's 1 quarter pi r squared. So if we just knew the radius of this quarter circle, we'd be all set. But we do. It's 1. They tell us that in the problem. So that's 1 quarter pi r squared, so 1 squared, and that's just going to be a quarter pi. So putting all this information together, so the shaded region is the triangle. All right, once we have the, uh, we'll do it down here, once we have the triangle plus the semicircle, so we add on the semicircle, minus the quarter circle. And that gives us exactly the shaded area we want. And so what was that? That was one half plus one quarter pi minus one quarter pi and that's just going to be one half all right so let's just double check that i copied those right the triangle one half the semicircle a quarter pi and the quarter circle also a quarter pi so we get ourselves one half which is not what i was expecting i was expecting a pi in my equation so if i had guessed i would have guessed one of a e or c and I would have been wrong, because the answer is B. So I really like these questions, because uh, they're always a hunt for which geometric shapes am I putting together in what order. And I find that when you think about them as, let's get the shaded region as a difference or a sum of, of really nice objects like triangles and rectangles and quarter circles, uh, when you think of it like that, the question becomes so much easier. Right. These questions might seem overwhelming, but once you look at them in that light of just you know adding and subtracting nice geometric shapes from one another, I find these questions to be a bit of a breeze. So that was question number 24. We have one more question remaining on this competition, and that'll be question number 25. We're going to take a look at that in the very next video. So stay tuned.